Yo, what's good, people? Welcome back to the sadly relatable podcast. We back, baby! Yay, yay! Oh my god! <laughs> First of all, me and this one are so ill, <laughs> and you can tell in our voices like I'm all clogged up. You are like extra clogged up. Yeah, I'm like I've been unwell for like a week now. Like this is the first day I've actually been able to get out of bed. You sound like a whole different person. I know some people might find it so annoying to listen to. Like there can be Spotify listeners and think, hey, no, Who that's not actually her. That <laughs> that's, not, that's not actually her. <laughs> also, something crazy as well. With I don't know if you look to tell, but we're filming back at my house in my room like we this like we so did it at weird. the start so we when i originally moved to london we made the agreement that we we're going to do like one week at mine one week uh in cambridge yeah and then that kind of sorry so you know when you get bogeys you gotta swallow them <laughs> that kind of flopped when i was living in south london because it would take two hours for you to can't it was just very long yeah it's so a then, headache so then I, we made the agreement that i would just come to cambridge yeah and then i moved a bit closer to cambridge and then you just decided i'm just gonna film at yours from now on yeah that was so much easier when you moved toward, towards the like, northwest um and also again facing takes, out where i live so it's so much easier to set up at yours yeah. Like here, this look how much I have to move. Like it's a yeah, mess. Yeah, it's yeah. a headache. Um, so even today, I was like, oh yeah, she's coming. It's gonna be easier for me. But then I realized it's so much easier for me to come really? up and just film there. You could have told me. Yeah, no, but I didn't realize. I thought because nah, nah, I was not feeling well. I, there's a reason I agreed to come. Is because you weren't feeling well. Yeah. Even though I'm not, and because our mom's not well, so I was like, I want to come see my mom. Yeah, but yeah, it feels Why weird. I'm getting like, because this is how it all started. This is how it starts. They're not, you know what's funny? They're not seeing anything different. <laughs> They're seeing the exact same setup. They're like, what are these guys We're talking like, about? We're like, this outside. Basically, we, how did we start a podcast? <laughs> you know how we started, man. Tell me you. again. <laughs> what well, it wasn't me, was it? It was you on my case. And I kept saying no until we were like, no, Okay, wait, 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 guys. Deep the fact that this is where I was living in that room, Ayo. Yeah. Oh my god, life This makes changed. me a bit sad though. I'm so sad, Wallah. Because I kind of miss it. I'll life be changed so much. And like we did it around lockdown, lockdown times and I f- I'm not going to tell you, I was so much happier then. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. But <laughs> what happened is, you tell us a story. By the way guys, yeah, I'm, it's very much nostalgia right now because I was in that room and every week we'd film, I'd literally just come here and since then so much has happened and it's just a completely different life. That's why it's so strange for me to be sat here right now. Yeah. But You sound like a whole different person. <laughs> Oh, this is my test to slowly get listen out of the podcast Hi. get her on here with a different voice see if people still want to listen different hair <laughs> yeah slowly just changing her um but yeah what's called wait no but shout out dedication though yeah 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 it is it is cause... dedication because i've been so unwell pay me <laughs> but no uh, honestly uh, even myself like today i'm like oh, i'm so like but i was like do you know what we need to get the episode out inshallah um I can't lie, I miss lockdown. I put it on my story the other day. Like, I miss it. I don't know what it is. I don't know whether it's... I know what it is. I'm going through, like, a bit of a rough passion at the moment. Oh, but like, like Shafiq. Um, I mean, it's more in the sense of that mental toughness that you have. Like, you know how, like, you push yourself to, like, think everything's going to be good and you can do it. But, like, you keep doing it for ages, ages. Basically, and you get to that point where, like, you burn out of being able to do that. Ba- basically, your issues are what I believe. Mm-hmm. You're at war with yourself. I'm what? You're at war with yourself. It's not, not, yeah, yeah, yeah. None, that's that's it's what not, it is. It literally is that. It's yourself. Yeah. That's what's scary. I'm doing myself, don't you? <laughs> not like no one's calm and like messed up your... Yeah, like, no one's doing nothing. That's what's funny. Your life's not bad. <laughs> yeah, like, literally. Alhamdulillah, like, I'm, I'm blessed. Allah very. Like life is good. No one's coming and doing anything. Obviously, we have normal struggles yeah, and stresses with family and stress like that. But like there's no one out to get me or messing me up. <laughs> It's me against me messing myself up. Like, oh, it's I so think that's hard. a lot of people, you know. That's a, Everyone is literally, I say it like this and it sounds a bit dramatic, but does it feel like every day you're fighting for your life? Yeah, and not just that. Like, it sounds, it's more for me, I think more career, career-wise because I feel like I'm at such a halt. You know when like things first started, it was such like this big climb and then you just, you're more like, steady and like now you just kind of ride the wave and slowly you have yeah, little ups what, and downs we're talking about happiness comes from being content yeah so that's what i think i need to practice a lot more because otherwise for the rest of your life you're going to set goals when you get them not happy to have set this goal that's what i done mm. and then i realized it just enjoy we've spoke about this a lot we yeah. said like you know you're living the dreams that you the does the prayers that you would have made before but yeah just, but the thing is we have to reinstate these because it's like a reminder to ourselves yeah no we well. have to but the, yeah i completely understand but yeah you need to just sit and genuinely i say you take a week off yeah. No social media. I'm going to LA next Inshallah. week. Inshallah. And I think I'm going to still create content, but I'm just going to stay off. Just take a week media. off. 
chill. Yeah, I'm like, actually, I'm so like, right. every day I wake up and I'm like, oh, well, I need to do something today. Chill. It's actually a headache. Take a week Look off. at me complaining like there is no guy to wake up six in the morning, go to a real job and do real things, and I'm here like, God, nah, man, I have you know to what wake it is, up. Yeah, there was a bit of a controversial topic going around, right? So there was a YouTuber, not YouTuber, a TikToker, and I think she's the most famous beauty influencer. Her name's like Michaela or something. Mm-hmm. She done a TikTok saying like, try being an influencer. I've been up since this time. I've been filming for like six, seven hours straight. It's five and I only just finished and I'm not done. Like, try doing it basically. And the whole internet just sort of grilled her and roasted her. Yeah. So I have a point to make against that and I want your opinion on it too. Mm-hmm. So my opinion is this. To be an influencer, to make money from your phone, social media, have a following is is a privilege, right? Yeah. And I get why people were grilling her 100% because, bro, there's people, there's freaking doctors that are working through co- doctors and nurses. There's, mm. there's so much that is way more difficult than that. So I understand where everyone's coming from. But I think on the flip side, what people don't understand is you being an influencer is easy. But when you have mental health, nothing is easy. Yeah, and not just and that. And she, she openly talks about her mental health. So it can go from being easy, an easy job, to one of the most difficult things that you could imagine. And you wouldn't understand why. Yeah. And the thing is, we say easy, which to be honest it is, I can't even argue, but I've had easier jobs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not like the easiest job because yeah, you yeah. still got, you're still, at the end of the day, you're running a business. If you're doing it properly, if you're doing it to the point, for example, where me and you are and this, it's not like this thing that we just wake up and choose, oh, would you do this? We have to make sure every day that something's happening or that we're working on something or that we're in some contact with some brand doing this, doing it. So like I've worked with big companies before for them and I've seen the intricate detailing of like how they communicate with certain sectors and they do these things. We're technically doing that as well. Yeah, It's a bit easier because we're doing it for ourselves and if we choose to take a break, we can take a break. Yeah, That's where we're, but we're still working. Yeah, of course you're still working and and I don't disagree with the mental, um, stress of maybe not progressing mm. and being at a whole and also me i don't know about you mm-hmm. but a lot of my brain is always like bro this can go at any second yeah do you know what i mean that's me i'm not that's why this I'm just, could, and, and that oh, but mine's a bit different what, what's your when you think that what's like i'm like outcome? this could not be my job at any second like yeah. as soon as like something happens or whatever does it stress you or do you want to chat you just don't really care it does stress me because i put my trust in god and i think whatever he wants will happen but it does stress me because then i think what what then so there's not a lot of security in it but i do understand why it's for you work for yourself like you do work for yourself it is difficult yeah but you chose it as well i think that's what's scary is this what's scary is tasting tasting the up yeah for example alhamdulillah like this is like my first year fully haven't worked for anyone and i've been making money and like being able to support myself alhamdulillah i'm blessed but when I get to these points where like I'm not progressing and I'm not moving forward, it's so scary because like I don't want to lose what I've just attained. Yeah, I've just my first year. I've just been able to do this, and now I'm scared I'm gonna fall off before I even before I even made it. Yeah, and, so it, and it's very stressful, man. Like, and I'm the type of person, you know, I overthink. I you stress overthink a lot. So like much. I'll stay up all night just thinking that I'm fucked. Do you know what I mean? And it's <laughs> hey, quite, that's so sad. Yeah. Okay, listen to this. To Andrew Tate with. said something right. So he basically said that he would rather be. So there's two things he'd rather be. A millionaire, billionaire, peas, like so much money mm-hmm. or broke. Yeah. And I was like, what are you on about? And then he explained it and I was like, that makes sense. So he oh, he'd rather he, be one extreme or the other. He said he doesn't want to be in the middle because when you're in the middle, you're so stressed about getting rich and then you're also stressed about <laughs> it can go at any time. Yeah. What if I become- so you're stressed about both sides. Exactly. Yeah. But like when you're... That, when you're broke, you're just like, bro, I'm broke. Like, I'm, I'm broke. broke, I'm trying to get you out. Live yeah. it. I can't lie. I, I can't had, get any worse than this. I had, yeah. Yeah. I had less stress not really having peas in my life than about money. A lot of people say that, you know. And then if you're a millionaire, you're like, bro, realistically, I'm never going to, not a millionaire, one million, because that's not a lot of money. But yeah. I mean, like, you know, Multiple, hundred, multiples yeah, of millions, exactly. yeah. So you're like, bro, it's not going to go. Like, I'll sell one of my house. Do you know what I mean? He was saying, I remember, <laughs> he was saying, I saw a video, uh, Andrew Tate was saying how like, um, he he's got so much money. He goes, when you got like seventeen million in the bank, yeah, or it's like seventeen million nine hundred thousand nine hundred ninety nine nine nine. He goes, them numbers is like free money to him. Like whenever he goes to the cash point, he'll just take out the max it can because it's like free money to him. Because no matter how much you take out from a cash point, every time you see one, 
even though he's got the 17 million, the numbers after it are I just like it. an never like ending us. thing. When you have 120 pounds, you're like, oh, just 20 pounds, I'll spend that. Yeah, yeah. But, but like, to him, like it's like even more thousand. extra. So he said he would just always go to cash money and just felt like he was just playing with free money because, like, the number, hard, like, it doesn't change that much. He's not going to remember. He's not, when he sees the 17 million and then 900, something, 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 yeah, 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 he's yeah. not going to remember how much that's really changed from, 100%. like, the thousands. You know what blows my mind about the concept of money? And, like, I'm the sort of person where. I don't know what what this is. I haven't really looked into it. I don't, my brain doesn't really comprehend certain things. Mm -hmm. Like, I'll give you an example. This is just a random example that just came to the top of my brain. For years of my life, there's mm -hmm. this, before you put heat on your hair, like before you straighten it or blow dry it, there's this thing called heat protectant where you spray it on your hair and it protects your hair from heat. Do you get it? So yeah. it doesn't get damaged. For years of my life, I did not, my brain didn't comprehend that it was a thing. I was like, why well, am I going to use this? Like, really, how does it protect? And then it came studies to show that it does. Yeah. Do you get it? But it's like sort of things like that. If I can't see it, I my to it's very it. hard to, for my brain to understand it. Mm -hmm. Like it's sort of like telling me, you know that thing I said where I feel like I could do anything. Mm -hmm. You know, like do you know what I mean? Yeah, I feel you. And and so the fact that there's people with money like that, my brain just does. That. Yeah, I can't really imagine it. Sometimes I, like I try to think. You really just wake up and like anything. Allah you, Allah like anything you want is anything. I don't. I, <laughs> would you want to be that rich? Um, I feel like I get scared of the idea of being that rich because of like sometimes I feel like Islamically like the more you have in this world it's almost like a sign like you know they say like they give like the non-believers this is like their paradise and like you'll have everything here and I'm like oh I don't know if I want to be that rich like I, I, I want to like be comfortable unless you use so the only way I'd want to be that rich because why would I here's the thing right we get joy in if I buy myself a ring mm -hmm. I'm going to get joy even if it's for like one day yeah. it's going to bring me happiness because I'm like oh you know I worked hard for that da -da -da. Right, if I'm a billionaire, that's going to be like nothing to me. It's going to be like buying a McDonald's. Yeah, I'm not going to lie to you. That's, so that's, where do you get that happen? I know we keep uh, quoting Andrew Tate for some reason. This, but I've seen him saying as well, because he talks a lot about what it's like to have money. And he goes, the only thing that's fun about money... Is giving it away. No, he says himself is being able to sit there with his brother at an expensive restaurant where the steak costs like 17 grand and he'll sit there and be like, do you remember when we had nothing? Oh. He goes, he, it, all he could... The only thing of fun about having money is talking about when you didn't have money. Oh, really? So like people that are born into rich families they don't to yeah. them it's not not this exciting thing because they've never experienced it i was gonna say the only reason i would want to ever get to that point where because what i'm working towards and i was speaking to someone about this yesterday mm -hmm. what i'm working towards is contentment so contentment and stability yeah so i always say to myself as soon as i've bought a house and i've got maybe even two three grand coming in of residual income yeah I don't know a lot of them, but that's my goal right now. Do you get it? Can I tell you, I'm kind of similar. Like, I, I, when I was younger, I used to be obsessed with this idea of millions. And I've, like, I've, I think I've said this to you before, um, but I'm very much, I just want I just to be able stress. to... Yeah, and I just, I just want to afford to have a house, afford to take care of, like, my parents, my family, have a wife and kids, and, like, be able to comfortably have days off and Inshallah. be with them. And I don't need millions and millions. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, for me, I just want to, like, be stress free and peaceful financial freedom yeah but the only reason i would want to have millions and millions is to be able to help other people yeah like imagine just opening orphanages buying people houses you hear of someone's story who's struggling you're just working with like 50 grand do you know yeah. what i mean do you know what? yeah that is exciting and the thing is i talk i hear a lot we of we spoke like, about um, the mr beast thing yeah like, like he does amazing stuff and i was speaking to him no i wasn't speaking <laughs> to him. i was listening to a podcast of him talking to others look at me this is living a fake reality um and he was talking to like how other youtubers have a lot of money and like they just don't give their money away and I was watching these other celebrities. But we don't know what they do in yeah. private. But I was talking about these other, and I listened to these other celebrities talking about how like people change when they start getting money and like random people just, uh, they'll just ask them for money without like that shame. They'll just be like, oh, oh how, can, do you think you could pay for my college? Or do you think you can do this? Do you think you can do that? And like how having money over time, you start to like get loads of people wanting from you and you have to like turn around at some point and be like, no, because no matter how many millions you have, you can't just pay for yeah. everyone and everything yeah even if it doesn't really affect your bank account like it will eventually it, it will eventually catch up on you do you know what i mean and like you you'd got, feel bad Abe. i'm yeah. telling you now when you, i know if you've got a bit of money and you know the friends around you don't or the people the family you'd feel it doesn't feel wouldn't feel right being like yeah should we split the bill yeah yeah that's just one thing like what happens when you get to the point where like you're you've made like a few million yeah but you've got a house to pay for yeah, you've got yeah, cars yeah. to pay for, you've got bills you're taking care of everyone in your family yeah, yeah. and like every time you go for a meal for the last like year and a bit you've been paying every single time and the one time you don't want to pay for the meal like everyone's gonna look at you like 
we know you can afford I this. I know. And you're making us, I've got to pay for my kids' school lunch tomorrow. <laughs> I've got, I'm in overdraft now, no, 100%. But like, I'd feel guilty as well to be like, to be like, oh, um, even nowadays, like I don't and have again, money no like that. No one should be looking after you, bro. Like we're in this life, do you know what I mean look after obviously yourself. yeah yeah give but I mean like um, there was the slave we were saying as well like sometimes he has to turn around to like people and be like oh sorry I can't right now and they like look at him like like how dare you like we, we've Don't, got no, millions I'll tell you something yeah <laughs> expectations is what leads to disappointments yeah. never expect anything from anyone I think it's good that we're speaking about money because I know a lot of people who are depressed but if they had money, they wouldn't be. I'm not saying that money fixes things, but a lot of people get depressed from not having money. And one thing I would say, what was that? <laughs> that was my, one thing psychotic. I would say is let's not normalize spending two grand on a bag. Yeah. Because I'm not going to lie, growing up, I never, I'd see it on Instagram and I'd see it. I didn't really know people that just had peas like that to spend on bags, designer clothes and this and that. It's not, do you know a lot of people like that? No, no. I know, really. a ha- I, I don't, I probably know less than three people like that. I'll be honest with you. Yeah, same. That can comfortably wake up and say, oh, do you know what? I want to spend two grand on a bag today. So, and I think social media has normalized it and then you feel bad for not being there. Yeah. When in reality, that is the minority and you're the majority of being a normal working person that doesn't have, rent to pay on one thing yeah but i think it's i'm glad we're speaking about money because um i want to say to you guys as well is that something that really really helped me is this your your if you're a muslim obviously this mm-hmm. is gonna you know you're gonna understand your um one of the things that is written for you is your so your wealth yeah so it's written for you already mm-hmm. so no matter what you do you can't unchange that yourself like i'm gonna be a because mi- it's already written for but you. but you know what i've heard I've heard certain things like that I can change Qadr, like stuff like yeah, that yeah yeah certain things that like can change certain things or certain outcomes but um, I do agree in the sense of like if you're working towards it and you're doing good then it's written for you I in that think sense. I look into it but I think the amount that God will give you in this life you're gonna get it regardless yeah no but regardless in the sense of you have to like they say Obviously tie your you camel yeah. you have to work for it everything in our religion as well back, yeah. Yeah, yeah everything in our religion is set in a way that you have to take action to receive. And there's examples of it. For example, when Moses split the Red Sea, hitting the staff on the ground, yeah. all these things. Like He didn't just sit there and wait for God to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you have to take action, but believe that God's going to give it to you. So, um, yeah, I understand. Like You just have to work hard and believe that that's coming. The example I'd say of what you said about you have to go out and do it is you wouldn't get in a car, put the keys in, and just make dua for Allah to drive you to your destination. Yeah, yeah, literally. You wouldn't just be like, please take and then sit there. You'd actually have to put your keys and drive to get it. Yeah. But yeah, just wanted to say, quick reminder for anyone that is stressing about money, it's written for you. Stop stressing. Work hard though. Work hard. Work your hardest that you possibly can mm-hmm. and you will get where you want to be. I promise you. I always see. But don't, don't, sorry, it's mm-hmm. interrupting it's you. Right. Don't set in your mind like, I have to make this much money. Like, just aim to be content, okay? Mm-hmm. And you will get there eventually. Yeah. And if you're a lady, marry a rich man. <laughs> no, I definitely agree with like trying to be content because I don't know, man. Like there's so many, like I go through these waves and I'm in one of the like the down waves at the moment where I'm like, I know that I can get my mind back into that mindset of like, it's going to be good. You're fighting with like, yourself yeah. every day. And I'm just, but I'm in that. Why does he hate you? I Tell him know. to leave you alone. Hit him for me. <laughs> but no, um, it will come back. I know it will come back. I just... Uh, it's a mental barrier, man. It's a headache. I know everyone's trying. <laughs> Every- I think it's also like I don't. I'm not, I don't say I have depression, but I definitely see my mood changing with the seasons. You know how they say, like yeah. seasonal depression. Oh my god! The 100%. fact that it's getting darker and like it's, the weather's cold. My room, for some reason, no matter how many heaters I bring in, is like an ice box. Get a heated blanket. Yes, and there's ones that you can put under your bed that like Do that. that you lay on heat. Get a, put it as a rug on the floor if you need That'd to. That'd be banging as well. Um, um, but yeah, it's definitely I've noticed that causing an effect on like my mood i've I've realized yeah as as i get older i've realized i've said it everyone is just fighting for their life i don't know sorry to be such a downer mood guys we're ill and we want to be down so you're joining us (laughs) you know what it is i like speaking about this stuff as well because it can people can watch it and think oh okay i'm not the only one yeah 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 (laughs) obviously you don't want there's someone there so content and happy and thinking well, these guys are ruining my mood. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Block. No, I mean, most of the people that I know, I, I, I probably one percent of them are genuinely happy. Do you feel like girls communicate 
how they f- are feeling mentally more um yes because i feel like you seem 100%. quite like you being able to say that means that you're quite aware of like everyone's situation yeah yeah but yeah. i realize like men you you can't tell yeah when i look at like the guys and my friends right now even though i can get a gist of maybe they're not in like their most amazing place at the moment i can't fully tell but do you speak to your friends about it do you sit and- i've stopped i'll be honest i used to be very open but like there's a part of me that feels like realistically complaining to them although it does help to like relieve some stress i have more time regret like opening up especially if someone doesn't open up to me as well i'm always like oh why did i say that yeah so i and like it, it says as well like if you're going to complain the best person to complain to is god, god yeah we, we we touch on this as well yeah so i like to me it's like oh should i save it for someone for the person that can actually change it yeah or do i just tell them but sometimes it's nice to vent and get like yeah words back i'm saying that like i'm I'm saying that like i'm not i'm saying that like i'm not just telling ten thousand people right now why do you have a power ranger so this is a power ranger um when i was a kid i was obsessed with power rangers and um shout out to ivan he's always getting a shout out on these things he He wrote for me for my birthday i don't know it's not i don't think it's a collective now or last year the last no the last birthday they went this year oh i haven't seen it um yeah it's well it's just been there oh uh, basically I haven't, I, like I haven't been here i like to collect things um for example i like to collect like pokemon cards or little things i've got like magazines of like rick and morty that i know in like 10 years i'm gonna look back and be like oh that's this is now collectible yeah yeah yeah. i'm very aware of like that type of stuff you know how sometimes when i think now i see people with collectibles i'm like i wish i kind of saved that yeah yeah, yeah. i'm currently have like a a that box phase. of like special things That's so like whether cute. it's pokemon cards whether it's stuff like this or little magazines or little stickers things that i'm saving because i know that when i'm like 60 or 70 and i'm like to my kids look at these That's but so don't cute. touch them <laughs> <laughs> they're worth a lot because <laughs> they want to like play with the toys elbow drop them <laughs> that's so true 60 or 70 your kids are going to be like 30 by then no, 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 I'm gonna be like 10 it's gonna take me 50 years to get married <laughs> don't say that <laughs> i'm joking don't say that. <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> like adults. They'll Don't be your grandchildren. Um, I had a question for you. Go on. So I want to explain more off of, like, I'll give you the details when we're not filming, obviously, because yeah. there's certain stuff you don't say, but I had a very, very, very close friend of mine mm-hmm. that I've been friends with for like seven or eight years. Mm-hmm. Snake me. What, recently? Re- like, yes, this week. Oh, crap. Not just snake me, but like... Eight years. Oh, I don't know. Like, what, to the point do where... I know them? Yeah, you do. To the point where they... It's a guy friend, by the way. So maybe you just use your brain. To the oh, point okay. where they... It's, I don't think it is who you think it is. But anyway, I'll explain oh, okay, it. Okay, okay. To the point where Ayob, the whole person they were was a complete lie. Not... Like, it was just a... Fa- like, the persona they had... That they gave to you. And the things they would you. say to me and what I've known for the past seven years and how they've been, like, a really good friend of mine. And they, it was a complete like lie to the point where when I found out I felt like someone had passed away like I felt like I was grieving yeah but how do you trust where how you found out like was it someone telling you something or no yeah it? I saw it you saw it's such a long story I'm excited to find out oh, stuff like that bad the gossip <laughs> no, but yeah so what do you do and it's funny because someone asked us in one of our dilemmas is um, something about their friend snaking them yeah what do you think about that? <clears throat> it's kind of scary. Cause do you think people deserve second chances? And like, how far is the limit that you don't give someone second chances? I don't know about second chances. I believe, I, I believe that people deserve forgiveness. And if you're able and willing to give them a second chance, do it. But, but does personally, it not make you a mug? No, I don't think it does. To go back in someone's life after they've like... Violated. It's never going to be the same though. Yeah, that's sad. That's what I hate about like lies or like trust being broken because you can never really rebuild it especially in like relationships or with certain things like you can't just rebuild i can't sit here knowing that you lied to me on like this big thing knowing how i, I felt about anything it. you say i'm not gonna believe yeah it. yeah i'm just like yeah shut up um but yeah forgiving and the act of forgiving you actually have to like let it go and try and be normal with them again but there's certain comfort areas that i wouldn't let them pass again if that makes sense yeah um and sometimes it's better just to have that person out of your life like there's nothing wrong with that as long as it's in a cordial way and you're you're respectful about it i think growing as you get older in life because again i've had like a friendship recently that i like had to cut off but it's not any hate in it at all like yeah. there was no 
anger. There was a little bit, you know, while it was... No anger, no hatred. Like, I still felt the same love I felt for them. Mm -hmm. But all it was, was I don't agree with your mindset or what you do. Yeah. And I can't have that around me. That's all it was. And it's a shame because mm -hmm. in my head, I'm like, you know what? I'd like to be their friend again in the future when we've both worked on ourselves. But then it's a shame because I feel like they're the sort of person where they're like, no, if you don't want to be friends with me now, like don't ever be friends with me. But my thought process is this. I don't want to be friends with you right now because of some of the stuff you've done that I don't agree with. So I don't want that around me. You know yeah. when you're like focusing on your peace yeah. and it's very much like don't come near me if you're going to do certain things. Yeah. So, and it's saying, it's, it's, I feel like as you, sorry, as you grow up, because I'm like speaking there, as you grow up, mm -hmm. um, I think it's okay, and I remember saying this to you guys as well, to just not, to end friendships, or you know, not in a bad way, but, and not have hatred yeah, for them. Yeah, take certain people out of your life, <clears throat> that, to benefit yourself, but obviously in like a respectful way. Yeah, respectful. Um, the thing I've noticed is, and like it's always going to be an issue, and I, I, something I think I picked up on a long time ago. So like I've kind of secured myself. Mm. I felt, I feel like I fell into it a little bit at the start of this last year. Not the start of last year. I mean last year around this time. But then like I pulled myself out of it. Is I don't, I'm never, I don't have a friend that I'm in their face 24 seven. Yeah. And that's where the problems I think come from. Like every, all of my best friends, closest friends, we're so close now. And they know a lot. We still have conversations, but like it will go like, two three weeks where i won't really say anything and then i speak to them yeah. do you know what i mean Wait, i feel like these problems these issues come from when you have such an amazing friendship and you're with each other 24 7 yeah things are gonna come up and but you're gonna annoy each other it's, easy, it's, it's harder as a woman than it is as a man because yeah. you lot are naturally like that if you were in each other's faces 24 7 you know sleeping next to each other every night and yeah like sharing all this stuff it, it it's not really a but that's that, why i think i see more issues with female friends yeah no 100 percent, 100 percent. because me i'm not actually i kind of learned just to be alone like comfortable alone but i have my friends if we want to do something they'll invite me to motives do this yeah, do that yeah, yeah. but i'm not like dependent on them so what i do which isn't healthy i'd but i'd love to be like you and i think what a lot of women do is i go through phases so mm. i'll do the whole spending so much time every single day months on end or weeks on end and then i'll need a week where i'm alone and i don't speak to anyone and yeah, i don't see anyone like a recharge rather than you know straight i'm like that's not healthy though. So, I know it's so that's healthy. where these problems come from because a lot of these problems are not even like major things. You, you always end up coming back from them. Yeah, yeah. But it just causes this like build up of something. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. I agree. Which is I don't think is that healthy to be honest. Um, yeah, alhamdulillah. Like, I feel like I'm at a stage where I just sometimes it's it weird. can be a bit lonely. Like I said before, like sometimes when I want to go to cinema and everyone's busy. Yeah. And I'm just like, alright, trip up my ones. Why don't you ever like want to do anything with me? Shut up, man. You don't even answer my calls. Let alone do things with you. Every time I call, apparently you're in that week where you don't want to speak to anyone every right. day that sounded very <laughs> that sounded very personal and aggressive if you do have you know communication is key yeah. don't let it build up and go crazy like chat to me you know what I mean <laughs> um, but yeah no if you could give one like piece of solid advice to everyone listening right now whether they're older younger to do what we spoke about today what would it be what, uh, what did we speak about today we spoke about money friendships all, all this kind of stuff my advice would be and i don't know if it falls into everything we spoke about mm. but it does because it's kind of sort of a lot of our issues whether that be mental health our struggles on a daily basis i think they come from fear mm. a little bit so if you don't fear anyone or anything but god and you fully put your trust in him you will be stress-free i'll give you an example mm. Me, for example, I was saying, you know, I get stressed because social media, like, could go at any point. If I said, and I really believed, God, whatever he gives me is the best thing, then I will not stress about that. And if I put my trust in him and I say, anything that happens, as long as I'm trying my best to be a good person and my relationship with him is solid, why would I ever fear anything or anyone but him? Another example, before I move on, sorry, mm -hmm. is this. Have you ever when you were younger, stop being friends with someone and maybe you know they knew a secret of yours and you were scared. You were thinking, what if they tell people? Yeah. Have you ever done that? I understand. I think I've like been... Maybe when maybe. you were younger and it could like fall into other things that I've said as well. N the person who has control of them, 
let's say someone has your biggest, deepest, darkest secret and you fall out of them and you're worried that they're going to tell the world or tell your family. The person who is in control of them is God. Mm. So instead of being scared of the human being who won't do anything unless God allows them to, mm -hmm. go straight to the source, ask for forgiveness, like put your trust in them. Do you get it? Mm -hmm. That's my biggest advice for literally everything and anything in life. And I think that as well is the key to happiness. What's your advice? Mine was just bare like ADHD, no, bare yeah. like conversations. I think that's probably the best piece of advice you ever given. Like, it, I don't know, maybe it just felt like it hit exactly what I needed to hear at Aww. this time. But yeah, that was really good. And so I, feel like, like, I feel like you just basically said everything I needed to hear. I'll be real. Aww. Like, it hits a spot. It's kind of hard. I don't know. But it's true though. It's, it's literally true of everything. It's like, why are you, why you going to be stressed? Why am I going to stress about... Not, let's say like working on social media, am I gonna make enough money this month? I'm gonna get enough jobs. Why am I gonna sit there and be stressed about these brands wanting to work with me when I could just say, bun them? Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I put my trust in him. Yeah. But I think that's where happiness comes from. No, that's beautiful. I'm literally like, just like, well, like just taking it in. Like Aww. it's hit me, that hit me hard. Cause like, even though I know it, it's good to hear it again. And like, I think that's what I'm struggling with right now. Yeah. Like, why am I stressed? Why are you? Why are you stressed? <laughs> you're you're literally, you know what it is? The devil has got you in a choke hold. And you're, and you're saying to him, take me, darling. <laughs> you're putting yourself in a box. You're wrapping it up. And you say, here you go. Bro, say, to, you know what? Sometimes you've got to say to him, screw you. Yeah? No, not today. Wallah. Everyone. I know it's easier said than done. I have my depressive days. I've got my phases where, but wallah, overall, fight yourself. Fight yourself and say no. Even if you look in the mirror and speak to yourself and say, today, I'm going to have a good day. I'm not stressing about anything that is not in my control. S speak to the mirror. I don't know if this is weird. <laughs> say it out loud, wallah, and screw it. And you know what? Even if it, bad things do happen, that was meant for you. Take it on the chest. <sighs> that was good. That was, that's me out. Mic drop. <laughs> You're very emotional. Yeah. What's up? I'm like, I feel like I'm holding back tears. No, don't cry. It's fine. <laughs> no, don't ick me Don't out. give me the ick. Don't give me the ick. No, don't no. like, you're just stressed out. You're emotional. No, I just feel like that was really good advice. That's so cute. <laughs> don't do the smile thing. Oh, okay, it's fine. Um, nah, don't worry. Everything will be okay. Everyone will make it off for everyone. Life's, like I said, it's, everyone's struggling. I feel like every day is fighting for life. And then having to pretend to be happy. Yeah. <laughs> So imagine fighting for your life and then on the outside having to pretend like, hey, love Yeah, life. we're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just know, guys, you ain't, if you're not watching this, you're struggling, whatever it is, whether that's your health, your family's health, grief, mental health, anything. You're not alone, I promise you. Like, that, you're not. It's everyone, I promise. Apart from me. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Don't be, yeah. I think we should end it on that. Yeah, one. I feel like that was good advice. Sorry, guys, for the mood and everything. Um, but yeah, man. Don't touch me, G. Um, <laughs> anyway. I don't do effects. Do you want a thousand pounds? The mic heart when I said, yeah, please. It's like, no, you don't need that right now. <laughs> um, yeah, let's do the shout out of the week. Oh. The shout out of the week goes to my dad. You caused this. <laughs> 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 you caused these issues that we're struggling with now. Now, alhamdulillah. Say alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Not always. Everyone always watching. Blessed. Everyone watching. If you're Muslim, say alhamdulillah right now. Do it, and say thank you God for all of the struggles you've given me. Because there's people out there whose struggles are a lot worse. They're burying family members. They're getting yeah. diagnosed with illnesses. You would much rather the struggles you're going through now than what some people are going through. Yeah, so, alhamdulillah. It's very true. Alhamdulillah. I can't thank lie. you, Allah, for always everything blessed. you've given us. Thank you. We have to thank Him for the bad things. So the shout of the week goes to Shahid Hassan. Shahid, Shahid Hassan, yeah. She said, I've been watching your videos for a while now and I have to admit with every episode, my love for you guys only grows. Um, not, only, not only do you never fail to make me laugh, but I love how you guys talk about Dean and all sorts of topics and I never get bored. Inshallah, you guys continue to grow and succeed in life and may Allah bless both of you with happiness in this dunya and the next. Yeah, I mean, that was beautiful. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you so much, Wallah. That was very, very beautiful. That touched a soul 
and a tear was and I said no not today <laughs> no thank, thank you we you. appreciate you Emin and the same for you and your family and your loved Amen. ones and I love you so much and thank you Amen. for that beautiful Amen. message Amen. and taking Amen. the time to write that message I love you so much <laughs> I love you uh, no that was beautiful thank you um, we're still blessed like blessed to even have you guys here watching um, yeah just bigger and better things on the way inshallah and yeah man I'm excited and yeah that's how the cookie crumbles what are you doing man oh we're sending a text sorry the episode ain't over yet Oh, sorry. Some respect. Okay. Um, but yeah, anyway, Nishan, where can they find you? You can find me crying on my pillow. You can find me at It's Nishan on Instagram and TikTok. You can find me at Kayla Kasha on all social media platforms. Don't forget to follow it. Sadly, Relatable Podcast on Relatable? Instagram. <laughs> Relatable Podcast on Instagram and TikTok. Guys, we love you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And also check out my vlog channel where I post vlogs every Monday. Woo, 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 woo. I should start doing that shout out at the start. Maybe I'll get more people. <laughs> Do it. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you for tuning in for another episode. We love you all. Thank you for being our reason to keep going. Yeah. And I say that with a very, very sincere heart. Wallah. Yeah. Do you it's know what? You guys. I'll be honest. Wallah. Like the amount of times I feel down and I just look at comments or go to like my DMs and see like, people appreciating us like in like on a deeper level if that makes sense like explaining how we help them with what they go through it helps a lot and we love you you know what yeah. i've realized as well sorry with all my other social media platforms the stress of not growing like annoys me mm. the stress of like oh this 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 but with the podcast i don't feel pressure because i'm like even if i just had it like this for the rest of my life i will still be content do you know what that's one thing as well I, I, I all my other social media platforms I'm always on like oh, why is it not why am I not growing am I gonna fall yeah, off like pressure. but with the podcast even if like staying like this doesn't scare me no because I'm so content yeah because I'm happy I'm, ju- I'm just happy with who's viewing us if that makes sense I'm that's mad because they have yeah we're that's meant to be like content. we need to grow we need to grow I know but here I'm like I'm just comfortable with I'm how content it is. you guys make me content yeah. I love you guys we love you guys and uh, we'll see you next week peace bye